Hey, hey, BTB fans, uh, Josh here with Robbie behind the camera. We're going to show you today uh, the accessory kits for Spartan Scenics and, uh, and their terrain line. Now, these guys are awesome, and uh, they, their, their terrain is, is HDF, uh, but they're, they're, and you'll see it right now, but a lot of their kits of accessories are resin and acrylics. So here we go. We're going to start with Armory Accessories. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Check it out. So uh, in the armor accessories, you get several crates with weapons, and uh, and you get lockers with weapons, and and even bigger lockers with weapons. And and what's really cool about this set is that you can make like a kiosk. So you can actually combine this front piece with one of these lockers, and then you know put this little acrylic screen on it, and it actually looks like you know you. you punching the numbers or whatever and it gives you the weapon. It's pretty cool. Anyways, the, in the future I'm sure they'll be selling weapons like that. So there we go. That's the Armory Accessories. So now we're going to move on to the Warehouse Accessories Kit. There's the cover art. And here are the pieces. And you see it's a pure resin kit. Lots of pieces. Both the Warehouse and, uh, and Armory kits had a lot of pieces. We also like biohazard uh, containers, some regular drums, uh, crates and larger crates. Some look a little more industrial, some look a little more uh, militaristic. Yeah, lots and lots of cover. And cover is very important in uh, most games. So yeah, definitely a good kit. Okay, now we're going to go to the teleporter accessories kit. And there's a the cover art. And here are the pieces. So here's our first example of uh, colored acrylics. So we have a, a screen here that goes with the computer console. And then these little teleporter pads uh, that you can see here in the, in the cover art. And uh, those are, that's this, the central section of the teleporter. And all these are just teleporter pads, which do not have to go on to that. Uh, they specifically state on their website that you can like put those in like different rooms, and I want to try that because that'd be cool to, you know, teleport from one end of the board to the next. In the in the game, that would put a really interesting twist to your game. So yeah, teleporter accessory kit. Now we go to the barracks accessory. So as you can expect, there's lots of beds and uh, and lockers, and there we go. This is how they come. And the, what's interesting about this one is that the bed frames are actually plastic. Um, so there we go. So a little bit of resin and plastic assembly in this one. And you get uh, enough for not, uh, three bunk beds, uh, tri, tri bunk beds, or I don't even know how you say that, but uh, three beds in one bunk and then nine lockers. So it matches. <laughs> Match and set, there we go. Nice. Uh, okay, so now we go to the Com Center accessory kit. Here's the cover art, and here are the pieces. So again, some more. Uh, the, all their screens are colored acrylics, and they come in green. Uh, and this one, the rest of it is just resin. Now, what's cool about this one is that you can you can actually use this 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 larger piece with the desk and and seat separately from this console piece. You can actually turn this around stand it up like that and then put the screen on it and have two separate consoles that you can see right there in which case you wouldn't use these little struts so yeah um, some modularity to this to this to these kits as well okay okay so now we have the blast door accessories kit and there you go lots of blast doors you have 12 uh, 14 and then 14 full blast doors and then six half doors and you can see right there, these are acrylic and orange because, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to mix up a power grid that will burn your face off to a, a uh, projector. So I like that though. I like that a lot. I like the thought that they put into this. And by the way, check this out. These guys have uh, hexagramic patterns engraved into the, into the acrylics. Uh, and that is great because it gives it a little bit of texture and it gives it a little bit of, uh, of stylized of stylization and this one will have some has some wood this is the only one that has a little bit of wood and uh, that's great I've been putting together their wood kits and they uh, they go together really nice and uh, the for example the sections in, in the in their kits have like a little gap where you can actually put the doors and they have a wood a door uh, kit but then they have the blast door kit so uh, you can kind of 
mix and match now, which is really cool. So there we go, there's the blast door accessories. Uh, now on to the mess hall accessories. And bam, I think this is one of their, one of their, their newest accessory kit, I think. And uh, anyways, you see again that uh, the frames of these, uh, like the seats of, of the, uh, what do you call these? Um, the tables? I forget what you call those, the specific kind of table. But anyways, uh, they're plastic and resin. So not a big deal there. Uh, pretty easy assembly. By the way, these kits have zero mold lines. They have a little bit of flashing on the edges sometimes because they're, uh, you know, they just put the cast and it's just a flat cast. But honestly, I have, I've, even that's in very, you know, it doesn't happen very often. So there we go. Now I have no idea how they got that to look like staticky, but I kind of want to do that. But as you can tell, it's really clear. So uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know if I figure that out. There you go. So that's the mess hall accessories. Now, my favorite one, the Med Lab accessories. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. This one is cool. I want like 20 of these. They're, they're these uh, cryo tubes, and uh, they, look, they just look so cool. And they have, they have, they have gurneys as well. Um, and then they have uh, a station, where a computer station, and then some cabinets with medicines and uh, and whatnot, and then you can see that uh, we also have some plastics here that will go onto these kits. So there we go. This is the metal lab accessory. Um, yeah, this one's really cool. I love these cryopods. All right, finally, my second favorite is the barricade accessories. I left the best best for last, I think. But uh, here we go. And these guys are, are just you can use these all over the place indoors outdoors and they come in in single cast pieces you have six uh, larger length ones and I, I was thinking they're four inches I'm thinking now they're three I don't know, I'll have to actually measure them to find out but you get uh, six long ones four short ones and then some acrylics uh, force field acrylics to put on them when you're done painting uh, but yeah I mean you, you can never have enough barricades and uh, these these ones are aesthetically pleasing to say the least so yeah very very awesome and that draws us to the conclusion hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, I, I didn't count out what uh, how many pieces are one now but I'll let you do that in the videos um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and yeah Spartan Scenics is awesome love those guys because uh, these guys are based off the UK. So there we go, Spartan Games, www.spartangames.co.uk. They're the, also the guys that do Firestorm Armada and uh, Dystopian Wars. So, uh, so yeah, you might be familiar with them.